Andrea Jenkins talks about her fight for justice um, in an interview with Pink News. Andrea Jenkins, Minneapolis City Council president and former guest on The Transgender Show, talks about what she had to overcome on her path to being the first openly, uh, the first black openly trans woman elected to a U.S. public office. First off, she had to deal with unhelpful suggestions from the mental health field in the 1990s when she started her transition. There was this mindset in the therapy world that if you're trans, you should move to a new community, change your name. Um, but that wasn't really a good option for me, she said. While I did lose some relationships, I still had a lot of networks and connections that were supportive, she said. I leaned towards staying in the community that I grew up in, touching it, uh, toughing it out, and maintaining those relationships. And I'm really glad I did. It has worked out for me. According to Pink News, Council President Jenkins has already was already a respected poet, academic, and activist when she was elected to Minneapolis City Council in 2017. The historic nature of her election made nas national news and increased the platform she'd already built through decades of community work and activism. She later received unanimous support from the council, naming her council president. She played a large role in the aftermath of the murder of George Floyd at the hands of police in Minneapolis. She sang Amazing Grace at a press conference uh, honoring Floyd, then made a plea that racism should be treated as a public health emergency. She's always been at the forefront of calls for radical police reforms. So, um, you know, it was great to see Council President Jenkins being interviewed by um, by Pink News and having this wonderful, glowing article written about her as she continues to do just great things for the trans community and the black community there in Minneapolis.